Yo, you guys are really gonna need to slow down here. I haven't uploaded in like a week and I come back to my channel and I see this. Came from like 93 subscribers to 125. You guys are increasing way too quick and you do need to slow down. How you expect me to keep up with roll call if I keep getting these bursts of subscribers? <laughs> so for those who are here for the roll call, be sure to wait till the end for that. As for the rooting tutorial, it starts right now. What's going on guys, Benji D here from Get Fix, and today I'll be showing you the quickest and easiest way to root any Android phone. But before I do that, let's go over some of the reasons you may want to root your device to begin with. Well for one, you can get paid apps for free, and also get unlimited free in app purchases. For example, apps like Temple Run and Subway Surfer has a store which allows you to purchase coins and some other things to help you stay ahead in the game. Number 2. You can get tethering for free. For those who don't know, tethering is like turning your phone into a mobile Wi-Fi router for other Wi-Fi enabled devices to use. Many phone companies in the US like MetroPCS, T-Mobile, and Verizon loves to charge their users an extra 20 or 30 bucks a month for the mobile hotspot feature. But with rooting, you can get it for free without being charged a dime. Nice. Number 3. You can delete any blower applications taking up some of that valuable space on your phone. You know, those apps you don't necessarily use but can't be deleted from your phone. Yeah, those. What's the deal with that, right? <laughs> In fact, you can delete anything, and I do mean anything including your camera and battery app, if your phone is rooted. Number 4. Overclocking your device and changing the amount of power your phone consumes. This means that you now have the ability to help your phone's battery last a bit longer. Wanna know what else need to last a little bit longer? See if you could fill in the blank. Your stamina and running a marathon. Dirty minded. You're dirty. <laughs> Number 5. You can get the latest firmware update for your Android device without having to upgrade to a new phone. Number 6. You can install apps on your SD card. And last but not least, Number 7. The ability to customize anything whether it's the theme, keyboard layout, the way your messages look, anything really. Now let's get on to actually rooting your device. I'll show you this device is not currently rooted using Root Checker. See that? What you will need is an application called King Root. The link is in the description below. XDA is a certified and legit root developer, so don't worry too much about anything going wrong during the process of rooting. Be sure to read through a disclaimer and also note that rooting the device will void your warranty. I hold no responsibility for anything going wrong with your device. Once you reach the bottom of the disclaimer, you'll find an orange download button. Click it and it should only take a few seconds to download. Before you install King Root, you must first enable USB debugging. To do that, go into the settings and scroll down until you find the about phone tab. Click it. Now go down to build number and tap it about 5 to 7 times until you get a message saying you are now a developer. Go back and you will notice a new settings called developers options. Click it. Make sure it's turned on and check USB debugging. You can turn USB debugging off after you completely rooted the device. Now that developer options is turned on, open the root APK you just downloaded. Make sure unknown sources is checked in the device settings under the security tab. Once the installation is complete, tap open. You can read the introduction information on this screen or swipe up to skip it on. All you have to do now is click the orange Android button to start rooting your device. But before you root the device, make sure that you are connected to the internet and your phone is about 20%. Now you are free to root the device. What makes King Root one of the best rooting methods is for one, you do not have to connect to a computer and transfer the files manually. And two, it uses a clouding system that allows the program to figure out the best way to root the phone based on the device you have. And that should be it. Don't do anything illegal and have Happy rooting. If you would like to see any more videos of this nature, give this video a thumbs up so I know. Let me know what you would like to see in any future videos in the comments below. Subscribe if you want to stay updated for when I upload. Roll call. Thugnificent. I got that game to love. Long G Shicks. You trying to make me curse, boy? Well, it didn't work. Chantel Scott. Finally, a normal name. Amani Gillette, cool name. And last but not least, the king from the east, Janus J. Benavoie, MD. <laughs> Dude, I think I totally <laughs> ambushed your name. I'm sorry, is that French? <laughs> Anyways, guys, it's Benji D here from Get Fixed, and we're all just having fun here. Now, peace. Hey.